So in this video i'm going to be sharing with you foods you can have on the nigerian keto diet i know it's you're very confused it sounds very restricting i, I can't eat rice i can't eat eba i can't eat bread what can i eat don't worry i've got you it's beginning to look a lot like christmas hi guys welcome to my channel my name is dami i'm a nigerian lifestyle content creator and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you a comprehensive list of the foods you can have on the keto diet if you don't know what the keto diet is the keto diet is a high fat moderate protein low carb diet so what that means is you're having 70 percent fat 25 percent protein and five percent carbs and it's very tricky to have especially if you are nigerian or if you're african because a lot of our foods are like really high in carbs and um, they are very calorie dense so it's usually really confusing what can you eat what can you not eat i'm going to be giving you a rundown of things you can eat and things you cannot eat so without further ado let's get started start with foods that you cannot even don't even think about don't even think about it number one has to be your your lovely your delicious your favorite rice you cannot have rice on the keto diet because it is high in carbohydrates and we want to reduce carbohydrate to five percent so things like rice bread yam processed flour anything made of flour like cake meat pies chicken pies you can have those shawamas tacos you cannot have those anything maybe vegetable oil because vegetable oil is not it's not also keto compliant you can't have that so things like deep deep fried french fries you can't have that because first of all you can never have potato then you cannot eat anything eh? vegetable oil what's that we don't know that you cannot have vegetable oil as well so things like your fries you see those ones forget it ice cream forget it For, forget it found it yam oh as an ikiti babe forget it eh forget amala what's that no way now those are things you can have you know just your regular nigerian carbohydrate starchy foods so what are the things you can have i have a list of them on my phone so i'm going to be reading them out now number one you can have meat okay meat is high in protein so meats like chicken turkey uh those kind of things you can definitely have those on the keto diet so just think of meats uh, suya meat you can have suya meat but not made with vegetable oil you can have suya because suya is made with meat but it should not be suya that they do inside vegetable oil okay so you can have suya you can have pork you can... now next up you can eat your fish titus kote shawa panla espresso uh, prawn shrimp all those things are definitely keto compliant because they are high in protein and high in fat tilapia catfish catfish pepper soup you can eat that you can go to the beer parlor and eat catfish pepper soup but don't drink beer on top also you can have sugar on keto diet sugar is a no no all right so next up you can have your butter butter examples of butter you can have you can have curry gold you have to also learn the type of butter maybe i'll do a separate video on how to read labels because i had to learn how to read labels and it's been helping my life guys i've also been going to the gym i wanted to mention that you can have cheese i'm not a cheese person so i don't know about it but you can have cheese you can have soft cheese you can have cottage cheese if you love cheese then you can definitely have cheese on the keto diet next up eggs i've already said you can have chicken now so you can eat your eggs fried scrambled deviled poached anyhow you like your eggs you can definitely have your eggs on the keto diet but note you must not fry your egg with granola oil canola oil some sunflower seed or some seed flower oil what's that oil you can't have any of those i'm going to talk about the oils you can have later on all right next up you can have things like yogurt if you want if, if you, you know since you cannot have ice cream you can definitely have yogurt on this diet so you can have yogurt now because a lot of fruits have sugar in them you can have them like me now my favorite fruits orange mango pineapple doesn't exist in the keto diet coconut i say coconut um orange orange mango pineapples all those things that are very very sweet and forget it it's not on this diet to eat all those things trash pain trash it immediately <laughs> so you can have those however there are some fruits you can have you can have coconut avocado yeah you can eat avocado as well and i believe you can eat strawberries now next up you can eat your vegetables any type of that's one thing i like about the diet so your normal nigerian soups like your efori roll 
eh, for let me make a goosey or bono or cross soup, black soup. Those are soups you can definitely have those on keto diet. And one of the major major reasons why you can have those on the keto diet is because palm oil is keto compliant. Which can somebody say hallelujah to that? Hallelujah, amen. Because I was like, hey, I cannot eat, cannot eat. I don't know how it's palm oil. If I could, you want to kill me. But you can definitely have palm oil on the keto diet. So you can have like your normal buka stew, you know, fried, deep fried in some nice palm oil. Your eforiro, egusi, ogbono, okra soup, um, uh, edikai kong. Oh my god, edikai kong, afang soup. Are you kidding me? You can have those. So things made with vegetable because a lot of the vegetables are compliant because they are very low in carb. They are like less than one gram of carb anyway. So you can, and also you can have bitter leaf, um, just normal vegetable, bitter leaf, spinach, water leaf, ugu, all of that. Chop and they go. No wahala. All right. Also, you can eat things like lettuce, cabbage, cucumbers, onions, ginger. So for spices, onions, ginger, garlic, um, cinnamon, black pepper. I'm trying to think of you know all those things. Black pepper, rosemary. You can have all of those on the keto diet. Um, for cube seasoning, like the popular ones that we know as you know Maggi and no. You can't have those because they have MSG. What you want to do with your seasoning is you want to make sure that your seasoning does not have MSG. Okay, there are seasonings that don't have MSG. So those are things you want to look out for. Like I actually read the labels. I don't have the nylon yet. But I read the label of no. I read the label of um, Maggi. And I realized that you have MSG in them. So if you have MSG out, you cannot have that. However, there are other multi-purpose seasonings that you can have there's um adobo which is really popular tropical yeah there's tropical as well all purpose seasoning that you can have on the keto diet that you don't have msg in them so you can have those as well like i said with your spices you can have a lot of spices herbs peppers those are allowed on the diet eggplants um what's this thing garden egg you can eat your garden egg as well you can eat your eggplants as that purple one which we naturally used to make things like um keto amala that's the eggplant. We used to make it to Amal. I'm going to make videos of that in the future. Hopefully, I can make a video. Because I always say I'll make a video, I'll make a video. Yeah, I know by myself that I used to make the video. Alright, seafood. You can have your shrimp, crayfish, you know, oyster, lobster. All of those you can definitely eat. So it's not like you're missing out on a lot. You're just missing, you know, the... But we'll get to that. Now, for swallow, now I said it's not like you are missing a lot, but you are missing the eba, the amala, and the rest, but there are actually alternatives. So you can use cabbage to make cabbage swallow. I've done that before a few times, and it kind of gives me the consistency of um, eba when you grind it. Okay, so you can have cabbage swallow, you can have eggplant swallow, which will look like amala. Eggplant swallow, you can have, you can make swallow from cucumbers, you can make swallow from any vegetable, as long as, if it's a vegetable, you can make swallow from it. Now, with the vegetable, because they lack the starch, they don't bind together, so you need the um, binders like psyllium husk to bind it together. If you don't know what that is, psyllium musk is so psyllium musk is really high in fiber. A lot of these vegetables lack fiber, they lack starch, so they don't bind together. But with the use of um, psyllium musk, you bind everything together and make it a perfect union, which you would now have with your soup. So if you're eating, if you're eating cabbage swallow, it's like you're eating vegetable and vegetable. Do you understand? So you are not even what's, what's carb there, it no exists. Let's move on very quickly. Other fruits, I forgot to mention other things you can eat. We have raspberries, strawberries, lemon, lime. I personally use lemon or lime to um, give flavor to my water because it can be very boring drinking just water every day, every day. You cannot drink. By the way, you can't have soft drink. Soft drink out of what's that in the dustbin? It means a coke, a fanta, a trash can. However, there are some that you can get away with. I think those zero ones, but you also have to be able to read the labels. Some of them have certain sweeteners that are compliant on the keto diet. So you can check those out. But if you're on a low carb diet, you can have like zero, zero seven up. I love that. When I was just transitioning from, you know, high carb to low carb to keto, I used to have the zero seven up. It has like four calories in the whole bottle, the hundred naira one. And then your taste buds, you not even taste sugar. After taking that for a while, I drank smooth one day. Like after I had been drinking seven up, seven up, seven up, seven up, the zero seven up. 
I drank smooth. I spat it out. I was like, this thing is too sweet. Is this what they are giving children? It's too sweet. So anyway, you can't have soft drinks on keto diet. That's what I'm trying to say. I remember there are some alternate drinks like Bai, like Zevia. There are drinks you can have. We'll talk about drinks later, but for now, you cannot have any of those. I said you can have cabbage, you can have broccoli, you can have eggs. You can. You are thinking of all those salad ingredients. You're like, can we? Can we? Which dressing? Can we use to dress this? You can have mayonnaise on the keto diet. Oh, exactly you can have mayonnaise on the keto diet i love mayonnaise when i'm on the diet because it's you know you'll be able to eat salad how will i eat salad there's no mayonnaise inside oh, i cannot do it i didn't know how to do it okay so you can have mayo on the keto diet which is very helpful as well you cannot have hot cocoa i like my tea thick you cannot have hot cocoa I, but you can have things like oluji coco. If you don't know oluji, I'll put it on the screen. Those ones, they don't have extra sugar added in them. You can have that. But the other ones that they used to say fortified with clinical, that they used to put sugar inside, straight outside. Okay? Also, you can have milk on the keto diet. I wanted to mention you can definitely have milk, which makes me happy. Why? I don't know. Because I don't used to drink milk. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't even take milk. So I won't even miss hot cocoa because I don't take milk. Not a lover of tea like that. If I'm drinking tea, I'm not feeling fine. I'll just quickly talk about drinks you can also have on the keto diet. You can have Zobo, Lemonade, Zevia, Bai, and I'm still looking for the other ones that you can have, but those are the ones that I know. What else? What else? What else? Sweeteners, you can have Stevia. And there are some other sweeteners I really can't remember because I know stevia is very popular. I'm thinking I'm going to the market today so I may get stevia in the market. Now for flowers, you cannot have the regular flower that you buy in the market. Um, so instead of that, you would have your almond flower, your zero cap coconut flower. And there are some other flowers you can have on the keto diet. So with the help of this flower, you can make things like meat pies, egg rolls, and the rest. Okay. So it's not really so hard. Let me explain. Now, your normal Nigerian meal, you eat things like rice. You can have zero rice. I'll put a picture of what that looks like on the screen. I'm yet to try that out. Once I try it out, if I like it, it's over. So you can have zero rice. You can have cauliflower rice if you really love to eat your rice. I'm a lover of yam as well. I'm an ikiti girl. So you know that being on the diet, hey, I will learn all eat yam and all the yam. But I tried cucumbers and eggs the other day, and it was actually really nice. So you can have that. I don't, I don't know what an alternative to yam is for now, but I mean that works. For your swallows, I already talked about swallows. You can have things like um, cabbage swallow, uh, eggplant swallow, and the rest. I, I hope when I'm having these meals, I will have the energy to make the video to show you guys what that is like. I'm trying to see what else is so important on the diet. There are um, keto mixes for flowers. You can use your almond flour to make bread if you miss bread so much so every literally everything has an alternative okay for your noodles if you love noodles there are zero carb noodles that are made with konjac and um, konjac is actually something you find in like asia but they brought they brought them to nigeria as well so you can have those kind of noodles and pastas if you miss your pasta you can also make pasta with almond flour I'm, I'm trying to see what else what else what else there are some companies coming up with foods that would taste that will give you that taste of like pounded yam or if you like to eat pounded yam i'm not if I, i'm an ikiti girl i don't pounded pounded yam is is inferior to me i said what i said okay if you not pound it with water or a food mixer a food food processor if you don't convert the yam from with food processor or with pounded with a omodo and odo forget it you see that pounder yam it doesn't work for me but they are companies trying to come up with something similar maybe in the future if they want to collaborate with me i will show you guys how to do semo and the rest with their products but for now i haven't tried any of those um you can make flour from anything so you can try those out as well i believe that i've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that you can have a good lifestyle on the keto diet i'm trying to see if there's any other thing that i'm missing out but i don't think there is um yeah so if you want to check out some of the meals that i have on the keto diet you can check out this video and um if you want to find out why i actually quit the diet earlier you can check out this video as well and i'll see you on the other side of either of these videos